All right. Um, it's been a couple hours since the the presentation ended on the last Smash character. It was it was Sora. Um, I'm still emotional, bro. Like, I can't be the only one. Come on, man. Did this did it settle in for anyone else? Like, does anyone else feel it? Like, is it sinking in? Like, it's it. It's over. No more Smash characters. That was it. Sitting comfy at 89. Probably not gonna get a new Smash game for like a decade. Like I, I've said all this in the video I just uploaded yesterday before this presentation, but like, oh my god, it's like sitting in. It's sitting in, bro. And I just like marathoned like every like reveal trailer and promo piece, like the Smash 64 commercial, the E3 2001 reveal for Melee, the reveal trailers for Brawl, every newcomer trailer for Smash 4, and Ultimate 2, like, oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Alright, let me let me talk about Sora real quick. Um, never play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I have had some interest in Kingdom Hearts, even before this, when they announced the story so far, Kingdom Hearts, because I know Kingdom Hearts is a big series. Um, I wanted to get it, I just never got around to doing it. I, I'm aware it's this, it's a video game series of, like, these characters that go through basically famous Disney and Pixar films. And as far as Sora in Smash, Sakurai said he was the most popular character in the ballot. I could kind, I could probably believe that. He was, he's been in a, bleh. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally, like, mixing a lot of emotions and thoughts right now. Freaking, he's been in consistent talks with, like, character speculation for over half a decade? I feel like people were talking out about him since way back in Smash 4, not even just with Ultimate or the DLC. Like, he is up there with K. Rool, Ridley, Banjo Kazooie, Kazooie, like one of those impossible yet like very popular, wa very wanted picks, right? Like, Sora's always been in that talk. And even though I've never been like, I never played the games, I've never been a fan of it. I know a lot of people really hoping for Sora, and like. This was one of those patterns that could have broke- it did break with this one, like, I didn't think we were gonna get another Square- like, another Square character. It wasn't even with Sora specifically, like, we got Sephiroth almost a year ago, in the same Fighter's Pass, and like, it's that pattern, like, oh, a company gets like one character per Fighter's Pass, cause like, there was one with Sephiroth and two, Hero and one, Banjo and one, Steve and two. It was a pattern. It was one of those patterns, but I acknowledge that like, yeah, it could easily break, cause like, we've had a lot of those break. The spirits deconfirm, uh, the me costume thing, other stuff too, the third party stuff. It's another one of those pattern sacrifices. It's like, ha, you stupid. But it was mainly that, because like I didn't think Disney would have been that big of an obstacle with Sora, because like Kingdom Hearts, it focuses a lot on the Disney and Pixar aspects, like those IPs and whatnot, sure. But like, there's still a lot of human characters that Sora runs around with. Like, even I know that. I don't know their names, but I know there's a lot of human characters in there. And they could have just banked off that, and that's basically what they did with this. There's almost no direct reference or not to Disney itself besides the little Mickey Mouse keychain on the keychain on the keyblade, the keychain. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> Whew. And yeah, like like I feel like that was the most common one, like Disney being stingy, not just Square Enix. But dog, they put a lot of Marvel characters in Fortnite. They put Wreck It Ralph in a Sonic racing game. I do not think Disney would have been that big of an obstacle for putting Sora in Smash. And lo and behold, he was the very last character. He was what revived. The oh my god! You, let me talk about. Oh my god! The trailer too. The trailer was so good. Colors weave into a spire of flame. The Smash logo. Everyone standing there, and it's cinders, and everyone's a trophy. Distant sparks call to a past still unnamed, that little ember on the ground that Mario picks up, bear this torch against the cold of the night, throwing that little spark in the dark, and search your soul and we reawaken the undying light. Dude, Life Flight, for all we know, could have been, like, directly referencing Sora and Kingdom Hearts specifically. Like, does, did anyone piece that together or see that Twitter post? Like, they have to have planned this shit way far back. Because the, he said, oh, Sora was the most popular character in the fighter ballot. Like, I'm willing to bet they said, you know what, we'll make DLC for this game in the middle of development. And they said whenever we get to the point where there's one last character, it would be sort of like they have to have planned this shit for a long ass time by now. And oh my god, it felt like one of those impossible picks because of like all the reasons I said. Mainly for me with um, the, the pattern, but most people because of Disney. And now, 
We got another one of those impossible characters in the game. I'm no Kingdom Hearts fan, again, by any means. I've never played the games. I don't have any personal attachment to it. But, like, I have that attachment to Smash and Smash fans. And Smash fans having that attachment to Kingdom Hearts. Him being that big-ass request, like, K. Roll, like, Ridley and Banjo. So, like, I'm still very happy that fans got exactly what they wanted with Sora. And I'm really happy it's another one of those. Oh, my God. It, it, and it's just cool, too, because, like, Kingdom Hearts itself is another crossover series. Technically, this is another tie. This, this is another tie between Disney and Nintendo. I'm, I'm rambling right now because, oh, my God, I have so many thoughts on this. Because, like, watching that trailer, that trailer hit so hard because it started with the first Ultimate trailer with the giant Flaming Smash logo inkling being, like, jaw-dropped just, like, in the first trailer back in 2018, and it ends on that, and then just all the characters there in that void in that smash logo and then like that like i don't know that song but that heavenly music that plays when mario throws <laughs> mario wields the keyblade i don't know what lore surrounds that keyblade other than i think probably like unlocking different worlds and dimensions or something like that i don't know but <laughs> that song hit and then seeing the cast oh my god like, it, to me, it felt like that trailer cemented how legendary of an event Smash is. Not just as a crossover, not just as a game, but also an event. And this event has technically been going on for, like, almost a decade. I don't want to repeat too much what I uploaded literally 24 hours ago, but... Oh my god, bro, I love this series. Like, that trailer, that whole reveal just re-cemented how much I love this series, how much I love Smash Brothers, bro. Starting way back in Melee... And, like, the design of the whole game and all those items and, like, the modes and whatnot, all the characters. If originally, it was just like, oh, Mario and Pikachu in the same game? I fucks with that. And then Brawl just went crazier. And then Smash 4 went crazier times 5. And now Ultimate's crazier times, like, 20. Like, oh my god, bro. Sakurai and Nintendo, they're, fu they're crazy. They're crazy. It's funny, because I predicted Sora, like, originally when I was predicting Fighters Pass 2 characters. I'm pretty sure I threw Sora in there. I... And then, like, Sephiroth came, and I kind of threw that almost entirely out the window. And then I thought, well, it's the last character, and they're really hyping it up, so maybe. And then, this was technically leaked, this was technically rumored. Well, it was rumored, but it technically was leaked too. Like, roughly a week before this was dropped. But I didn't think it was real, because, like, it could literally be anyone. And then, like, I was still, I was still baffled it ended up being Sora. And I think it's a really good way to end. Not just the last Fighter's Pass, but just the last character for Smash Brothers for a long time. Like, that. that is still a massive character a lot of people wanted, and a popular one that comes from a popular series. We have 18 third-party characters in this game. Holy shit, bro. That's- oh my- <sighs> I fucking love Smash Brothers, man. Oh my god, this game- I said it's up there with, like, Mario's alongside, like, my favorite, like, series out there. But it's just so cool. It's just, it's just the coolest shit in so many different ways. Like, you got Sephiroth in there, bro. You got Cloud in there. You got Banjo. You got Steve, bro. We got Sora in there. We got fucking Sora, bro. Like, that is a pretty big fucking deal. That's a character people wanted. That is a character people wanted. <laughs> oh, my God. It's weird looking back at how Smash has kind of grown from the tiny little puddle that is just these Nintendo All-Stars from way back in the 90s to this massive, like conglomerate of just nintendo's dozens of dozens of characters and ips and they dip their toes in literally more than like a dozen and a half other characters they don't even own it's also cool that disney is kind of like associated with smash brothers in a way they probably barely had much of a hand in this if at all they just nintendo probably had to pay the rights to be like hey can we still have the mickey keychain but that's about it because we know if we pay for any more Disney characters in Smash Brothers, there's going to be a tizzy because that's not video game characters specifically. And B, it's still it's going to be a shit ton of money regardless. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I'm uh, How do they do it, bro? I'm I'm uh, uh, I'm going to miss it. Oh. Uh Yes, I'm I'm the spoiled kind. I kind of was, But like it uh Ultimate's exactly why this character, Sora, it's- this is exactly why I'm okay with the enhanced port angle. If they just re-release Ultimate again, do some like Turbo Street Fighter or Super Street Fighter type shit, right? I'm okay with them doing that with Smash Ultimate. Like, people just want the characters. 
and Ultimate, like, we're not gonna get a Smash Bros. game like Ultimate again. We're just not. Unless they port the game, that's the only way I think you could do Ultimate twice. You just port Ultimate and just do it again. Otherwise, I don't think we're gonna get Ultimate for, like, another, another Smash Ultimate, I should say. For, like, I don't even know, like, a hundred years or something? Assuming we don't die out by then, assuming video games are still big, assuming Smash Brothers is still big, we're probably never gonna get that again. So, like, why not just, like, keep that ambition, just keep that momentum, not, well, not even just the momentum, but just, like, keep that ambition going. You can, like, change some characters here and there, maybe redesign some of the veterans, but, like, that roster, bro, people are gonna have such a hard time, they're gonna have such a hard time letting go of this roster. All the veterans, all these newcomers, Sora, oh my god, dude, this is, ugh. I'm completely content with the reboot angle. Obviously, that makes a lot of sense for where Smash should go after this. But if Ultimate just re-releases again and they just have more characters, that's 100% fine by me, bro. I, lo I, I love this game way too much to just move on. Yeah, <laughs> you know how people who don't like Melee or the Melee community be like, oh, they can't let go of their old-ass, like, 20-year-old glitchy game? It, that to me right now. It's like, I don't want to let this game go, bro. Please, no. Don't, don't take away this characters from me, please. <laughs> but, like... Oh my god, Sakurai, Sora Limited, Bandai Namco, they work magic, bro. I have so much respect for these people. They keep, they keep making, like, impossible, like, requests possible, answering these, like, dream picks, giving these people these dream characters so many times. But even with that, like, even if you have, like, lesser, like, not as popular picks, Min Min Byleth, Pyramithra, other first parties, or, like, lesser third parties, like, Terry was still big, don't get me wrong, but, like, compared to, like, Street Fighter, King of Fighters isn't as big as that but like it just adds so much to the crossover it just adds more content more characters more worlds more games it's it's, it's, just, it's just cool to me and personally i i, I love midman bro I, I literally made the character so like even just looking back on all these trailers even with like the characters you wouldn't like it, it feels so bittersweet man it, it just reminds you how big smash is as an event not just the crossover, that's been beaten to death. I don't want to beat too hard, it's like, oh, you should be grateful and all that. But like, like, like if, if you're not a fan of Sora, if you're not a fan of some of the characters in, the, in these games, that's completely fine. Like, I fucking love this game, bro. I fucking love Smash Brothers so fucking much. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. And so many people have so much passion for these characters, for this series itself. Casually, competitively, like, it's, it's just such a great thing to see. It's the hype with Smash Brothers. It, it's it is that event, like bringing all these characters together, bringing all these communities together to celebrate this ginormous crossover in gaming history. Like it, it's beautiful, man. Like oh my god. Going back to the CGI trailers, that, look, watching those makes me want to figure out how to model an animation. I'm not gonna lie. I have Blender and other programs downloaded, but like oh, I know that would take me like months, probably years, to get down right. But oh my god. It's probably gonna be forever till we get a new Smash game. I'll, I'll say like seven to ten years. Seven to ten years we'll probably get a new Smash game. Cause like it took us seven years to get Brawl, seven years to get Smash 4 as well. The only times we got a Smash game really quick was like Melee came out less than two years after 64 did and Ultimate was like basically the same thing once Smash 4's DLC ended. And it's weird cause I had, I had this like melancholy bittersweet feeling, this like passionate feeling of how how much i adore and like respect smash brothers and sakurai i had this feeling back in smash 4 because i genuinely didn't think we were going to get a new smash game on switch for like a good while because smash 4 was still brand new smash 4 finished its dlc like a year before the switch came out it it was only a two-year gap it was only a two-year gap basically and then like once they gave us that trailer i'm like oh my god we're going through this all over again like like i say that like i was dreading it but like no i Dog, I fucking love this series. Of course I'm gonna be fucking excited. Like, you got Mario in there. You got, like, all these crazy-ass characters. Oh my god. And the trailers, too. The trailers were just so good, bro. The Rosalina one blew me away. The Palatina one was utterly fucking beautiful. The K. Rool one was sick. The Incineroar one was fun. The fucking Sephiroth one was cool. Clouds. Greninjas. Oh my god, bro. Ah, my, my heart. My heart. My heart. It's hurting. I'm missing this, bro. I'm really gonna miss that feeling. I'm really gonna miss that feeling of looking forward to those characters. Looking forward to that new Smash game. Obviously, we're gonna get a new Smash game, but, like, it's not gonna be for a while. It's, like, almost 9 out of 10. Like, 95%. 95%. Guaranteed not gonna come for a really long while. Oh, Smash Bros. At least we have Ultimate to, like, 
just to bask in and enjoy for probably a decade at this point. The competitive scene's in a really good spot too. Sakurai! Such a fucking good developer, bro! Same for Bandai Namco and everyone working on this game. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god. Smash is so cool. I love Smash Bros. <laughs> it's, 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 it's such a cool crossover, bro. Even if you have characters that are annoying to fight or like, why are they here? It's, it's still cool, bro. I'm, fe I'm feeling I'm feeling a weird high right now. I'm feeling a bittersweet high. <laughs> oh, Sora's in fucking Smash. That's insane. Oh my god. I, I kind of want to do more Smash content, right? I've always done Smash content for the past several years. You guys know me for that already, but... If you see more Smash... Like, uh, weird rankings, trailer rankings, newcomer rankings, like, a lot of various types of Smash content, do not be surprised. Really want to bask in how much I adore this game. This is probably my favorite Switch game, dude. Like, th the trailer really did impact me that much. It really just reinvigorated and, like reminded me how much I adored Smash Bros and how much it stuck with me for like oh my god I'm 23 so like 18 years 18 I started with Melee I, maybe 15 because like because of that one Christmas I'm rambling oh my god why do you guys watch me if I ramble this much holy shit man <laughs> oh my god Sakurai you, oh, thank you Nintendo Bandai Namco thank you thank you for not just Ultimate, not just all these characters, but just Smash Brothers itself. You've done so much good for this series. You've given us all these crazy ass modes, some weird ass adventure modes that like really stuck with us all these years. You gave us all these crazy combinations of third party characters. You, we have Snake, we have Sonic, we have Pac-Man, Banjo-Kazooie, Cloud and Sephiroth. Now Sora, oh my, so many cool characters not even from Nintendo and we still have a lot of cool ass characters within Nintendo series all the main Mario cast Pit, Palutena and Dark Pit, freaking Min Min, Donkey Kong with King K. Rool coming back, freaking the Zelda Triforce trio, trio yeah actually yeah it's a trio but it is three links and two Zeldas, freaking all the Kirby characters dude oh my god bro I'm sad I'm going I'm going through a I'm going I'm going through a thing I'm going through a grieving process. <laughs> uh, just thank you so much for Ultimate. I really love this game. Like, I, I can't. It's like, I'm not gonna, like, if, again, you're not, if you're not on board with Sora, I get it. Not everyone likes these, some of these characters. There's always gonna be people who are not that excited, not that hype, not that liking towards these people. I get it. 100%. Not telling you to be grateful, not telling you to be like, yo, you should be happy, bro. I'm not telling- I'm not forcing you to feel some way or say one thing or accept a thing you may not like. How you want to take it, how you want to, like, respond to it. That's up to you. I'm not going to change that. It's completely fine if you're not a fan of Sora or some of the other characters we already got in Smash. But, like, oh my god, I'm grateful. <laughs> it's probably cringe because you hear this so much. I, I I hear it a lot on Twitter, so it's kind of cringy to me in a little, little weird way. I'm grateful for this game, bro. And this is this was such a good way to end it. And I really hope Sakurai knows that there are millions out there. Thank you, Sakurai was trending earlier. I really hope Sakurai knows how much people do respect him. Like, I said this before. I said this in the video I just uploaded. It's so easy. It's so easy to say how ungrateful Smash fans are or how they don't get how big of a crossover this is, how legendary of an event this is, how hard it is to get these third parties, how hard it is to design these games, get all these modes, design the game the way it is, with all the stages, the mechanics, the moves. Most do. Let's be real, bro. Most actually do. They don't say it. They don't say it. They may not outwardly convey that feeling, but they do. I genuinely believe most people do, because why the fuck wouldn't Smash be as big as it is now? Especially with the character speculation, all the reveals, the competitive scenes, and almost all their respective games, at least with Melee, but dude, I don't think that many Smash- I don't- I don't think there are that many Smash fans that are just that ungrateful and toxic, like, uh, and even if there are, I find so much more positivity and support for the characters compared to that, right? It's, it's that comparison between how much more negative is there compared to the positive. Even if you don't outwardly see the positive, I just think there's more positive than there is negative. I mean, I'm gonna keep playing competitive too. So you'll see me in more competitive stuff, maybe like some tourney VODs and shit? Maybe? Look up SMT, but... 
I'm so happy, but I'm so sad it's ending, bro. This is such a wild ride. Uh, oh my god, why the fuck did Etika have to do that? Dude, this is literally the hype train crashing into the fucking sun! The sun was the sun! Ah! Uh, he would have fucking loved this pass, bro. He would have fucking loved it. But... <sighs> is this like an existential crisis I'm going through right now? What kind of fucking shit am I... <laughs> Alright, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go before I ramble even longer, even more than I should, because, like, this is too much, bro. Oh my god. Smash Bros. is so fucking cool. It's so cool. It's so fucking big. But that's what makes it so fucking cool! Oh, and Sora comes out in two weeks, but less than two weeks. Oh, that's gonna be a wait. That's gonna be a wait, bro. Thank you for listening to my unscripted rambling of just how I'm going through an existential crisis on how Smash is ending. And I'm gonna miss it, bro. But I really love Ultimate, and I'm really gonna, like, enjoy this last character. And just enjoy the game like I have been, but probably with an extra newfound appreciation and passion and respect for it, for Sakurai, for Nintendo... At least when it comes to developing their games, I haven't forgotten what they did last year. I'm not forgetting that. I mean, that's not the only thing they've done bad. And Sword Limited and Bandai Namco. Oh my god. Smash is so fucking cool, bro. Someone hold me. Please hold me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Someone's gonna twist this and be like, oh my god, he's such a fucking baby, bro. Such a baby. Be it's like, be grateful that you got Sora. It's like, I am. And I know it's the end. Can I express some, like, passionate heartfelt emotions with you guys with sakurai with smash brothers because that's how much i love this game and the series <sighs> stuck with me since i was like five or six expect more uh, uh, the 100 expect smash content by the way uh i'm i'm gonna upload a compilation of all the tr of all the promo material smash has had over the years i'm probably gonna upload that after this some rankings videos again um I've wanted to do more discussions slash reviews slash retrospectives on games I've played before. Smash is definitely up there. Like, really meaty. Really meaty perspectives. Uh, retrospectives, not per Well, perspectives, I guess. Oh my god, I'm rambling again. <sighs> Swords and Smash, that's so fucking cool. This is the last character. Smash is not gonna, like, be a thing for such a long time. Ultimate's the only game we're gonna get, isn't it? Oh my god. Sakurai... Bandai Namco, Nintendo, and Storm Unlimited, specifically for the whole Smash series and Smash Ultimate, thank you so fucking much. Y'all did so much good design. S brought us amazing characters. You're goaded for a reason. You're respected for a reason, bro. Sakurai's also charismatic as well. It's just... Oh, I'm just really grateful for Smash Brothers and Sakurai. It, it, it's that cringe thing. It's like, be grateful, but like, I genuinely feel passionate right now, so I just need to like, get that out. I need to really get that out. To really get that message across. Hopefully a lot of people are feeling similarly. Because, like, it really is the, an, end of an, er, an end of an era. With a lot of passing in 2015. Pokemon and Animal Crossing. Being handed off to different developers and going in, like, weird directions. The Switch and how it's being marketed and, like, all this weird stuff. And now, us not getting Smash. Well, Smash being done after being constantly developed for almost 10 years straight. It really is the end of an era. It really is the end of an actual era. I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. And I'm really gonna miss it, man. That's just how it is. I'm happy, but I'm sad. But I'm happy at the same time. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna leave you guys. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. <sighs> Why do you guys sub to me if I ramble this long for like over 20 minutes? Woof. Uh, expect more Smash content. But, yeah. Stay super. Yeah. <laughs>